All right. So for this example, what we simply need to do is find the values of x that are going to make this um, equation true on uh, the interval of 0 and 2 pi. So my answer, my angles of x have to be between 0 and 2 pi. So what we're simply going to do is solve for x. So therefore, I subtract 1 first on both sides by using the subtraction property of equality equals 0. I'm sorry, equals negative 1. Then I divide by 2, and I get sine of x equals a negative 1 half. Does everybody follow me how I get to this by isolating my trig function? Yes. Okay. So all we're going to do is we need to work into isolating the trig function. Now, once we've isolated the trig function, now what we can use is go ahead and solve for this. This states the sine of an angle equals negative 1 half. What is that angle? All right, And that angle has to be within 0 and 2 pi. So between 0 and 2 pi, we look is going to be a part on the unit circle. So we look into when is the sine equal to negative 1 half? Well, there's two points that we have. First one is um, square root of 3 divided by 2, comma, a negative 1 half. And the other one is a negative square root of 3 over 2, comma, negative 1 half. So those are your two points on your unit circle, which we need to determine you know, what exactly are those points. Well, we've been using the unit circle a lot to really remember where those two points are. So our first point, our first angle, so when x equals, when x equals um, 7 pi over 6, we're going to have a solution, right? Because you look at it, sine of x, remember, remember the sine of your angle x equals your y-coordinate, right? So when is my y-coordinate equal to negative 1? Well, it's equal at these two angles, right? So we just need to figure out what is that angle that we're trying to find. So it's going to be 7 pi over 6, comma, and then this last one, which would be 11 pi over 6. And those are going to be your two solutions. Now, ladies and gentlemen, one last thing that I want to uh, go back over through with you, you can always check. Remember when we did like x plus 3 equals 5? What did you do? You subtracted 3, right? And you got x equals 2. Then how could you check your answer? You plug 2 back into your equation, right? If you're not sure if you did this problem correctly, you're like, ah, I'm not sure if my angles are correct, just take your angles and plug them back into your function and see if, and see if they work. So just take whatever angle that you solve for, plug it back, take the sine of it, plug it into your calculator, and then see if you get the right answer. Okay? It's a very simple thing. What?